true power of shadow box is revealed when you start to use the various stroke types for the masking pen to draw masks on the surfaces of the shadow box tool. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can combine some of these tools together to create an interesting mechanical object. So I started by just using the circle mask pen stroke type and I have square and center activated so every time I draw from the center I get a perfect circle that starts from the position where I start the stroke. When I hold the control key and drag it creates a mask on the surface which then creates a mesh in the middle of shadow box. When I hold control and alt together it erases the mask and therefore cuts into the surface that I create in shadow box. I'm activating radial symmetry on the Z axis and I've set the radial count to 5. And now I'm experimenting by creating new circles with radial symmetry uh, to build upon the uh, shape that I've already established and holding control and alt to erase parts of the mask to cut into the shape. At this point I've switched over to the curve stroke type and I'm drawing a curve by holding the control key and dragging on the canvas. Now every time I tap the alt key it adds a point in the curve so I can change direction. Once I've drawn out my simple curve I'm going to hold the alt key and you'll actually see the dotted line become bright white indicating that this is going to be an erase mode because I'm holding the alt key. And once I let go it erases that part of the mask and creates a cut into the surface. And this combined with radial symmetry leaves me with a very interesting shape. And now I can switch over to the side views and use a similar technique. This time I'm turning radial symmetry off and instead I'm going to activate symmetry along the Y axis. And this allows me to draw essentially from the top and the bottom at the same time. So I'm going to create a curved edge out here by just drawing out with these curved stroke types and tapping the Alt key every time I want to add a point to the curve. And when I let go, I essentially get this kind of beveled edge to the shape. I'm doing the same thing on the inside now. Now if I want to add a sharp corner to my curve, all I need to do is double tap the Alt key and then change directions and that will automatically add a sharp corner to the curve. Once again, holding the Alt key and letting go erases the mask and therefore cuts into the surface. And now I'm just using the rectangle shape to clean up the edges. And holding the Alt key with the rectangle stroke type allows me to clean off any edges or parts that are sticking out. So this is my surface that I end up with in shadow box. I can clean up the edges simply by going into the deformations, pulling up the relax deformer and that relaxes the surface and helps smooth out any bumps. At this point I'm ready to start working with my sculpting brushes and clipping brushes to clean up the surface.